When bankers don't want to loan money because it's too risky, and when private investors don't want to fund companies, then it's much more difficult for SMEs to get off the ground. To enable companies to develop their innovation potential and to create jobs, the state or local government must take action. This can take the form of subsidies, but also more complex financial packages. This is called financial engineering. Public financial engineering has been a recent response to the challenge of regional economic development. In Europe, the practice only truly began in the 2000s. With the Jeremy Initiative, the European Union has provided resources but has left the choice of method to the member states. FinEN's challenge has been to take a global view, to analyse experiences and to showcase best practices. An interreg project which notably raises the issue of investment strategy, in other words, programming. The first thing to do is to uh, perform a, a good market analysis, that is to work closely with uh, the companies, the, the, the enterprises that we're going to uh, finance, to uh, identify where are the gaps, where are the problems that they uh, encounter, and to work with the private banks to know uh, well what their job is, uh, what, uh, what they do and what they don't do, and uh, what we can expect to uh, do with private financing. Investment strategy is assessing the needs of companies, targeting the right sectors and the right finances, and this is a critical first step. But even when the strategy is clear, it still has to be implemented. The challenge is to be as efficient as possible when using public funds. The, the most important thing uh, to, before you implement um, a new instrument is uh, to make a, a gap analysis about what are the real needs of the of the um, of the SMEs in the new region, uh, and then to design and to really make a sophisticated design uh, of the of the instrument that really targets the 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 SMEs uh, that are in that gap and that market uh, segment. Mobilizing finances and capital, choosing fund managers, raising awareness amongst local companies regarding the existence of instruments. This is the implementation aspect. But even if we've thought about it beforehand, and even if the instruments seem to be efficient and effective, we must make sure that we've made the right choice. This is the assessment aspect. Latvia right now is facing two different challenges regarding financial instruments. Uh, firstly, we are going to uh, change our institutional approach. Instead of several different institutions, we are going to introduce one single. Secondly, we are going to follow EU recommendations re regarding the on-the-shelf instruments. The Interreg 4C FinEN project began on the 1st of January 2012. It will end in 2014. It brings together 13 partners from east to west and from north to south of the European Union. They all have the same objective, effectively mitigating the failures of private funding in the corporate sector and creating leverage in favour of economic development and jobs. In fact, a startup needs a lot of uh, cash to anticipate the needs of the market. So you have to invest in your technology to be ready when the market will need to uh, invest in your technology. And to invest in technology, you need partners. Programming, implementation and assessment. The Interreg FinEN project has highlighted the key issues facing European regions. For further information, please consult the project's website at www.fin-en.eu